Hello Internet, friends, family, my fellow cinephiles, welcome to another In The Can trailer reaction video, Fanboy here. And everyone looked around the room and not one person ever asked, where's the analyst? Well, thank you for not asking that question. But I'm going to go ahead and answer it. Truth is, about three days ago, we lost the analyst to herpagonocephalitis. We greatly missed. No, I'm just joking. But uh, he just went to go hang out with some friends for the weekend. He's left me here alone with my thoughts, facing the crippling depression. But enough about me. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the trailer for Ralph Breaks the Internet, Wreck-It Ralph 2, which was just released today. Um... So, gonna be honest, I haven't seen the first Wreck-It Ralph going into this. I have intentions of watching it before I actually go see this movie in theaters, because I really want to see this movie in theaters. It's been a minute since I've actually been able to sit down and go see an actual legitimate, full-on Disney movie in theaters. I didn't get to see Moana, but I absolutely loved Moana when it came out on home release, so I have high hopes for this, but let's get right into it. And put on your church shoes, little sister, because we're about to blast off! Ralph, what is it you're trying to say? We're going to the internet. What? <laughs> trailer seemed pretty interesting, uh, to say the least. That Disney is literally pulling out all the stops for this particular film. Especially when it comes to showing off uh, films of their previous days. Especially with, you know, their princess line. Because everyone knows that's Disney's bread and butter. You know, they, they gotta throw out the Disney princesses, throw them a bone every now and then. And it looks like they're bringing back every single one that they've ever done. And from what I understand and from the articles and reports that I read, you know, they're, they're, most of them are being played by their original voice actresses. I know Ariel is, obviously the, the newer princesses such as, you know, Rapun Rapunzel and Anna and um, Elsa from Frozen, they're obviously going to be played by their original voice actresses. But I believe Pocahontas, Ariel... At the very least, I know those two, for sure, are their original voice actresses, which I think is pretty cool. It's basically, you know, acknowledging the fact that 
they're the reason why Disney has carried on for as long as they have. Basically showing them, hey, you know, that you, this is where we came from, you know, we wouldn't be where we are without these particular artists and actresses and whatnot. And it's nice to see them kind of still giving them jobs and finding roles for them. And it, it's just kind of funny that out of all the places you, you would find all these princesses coming together, it's a Wreck-It Ralph sequel. Disney's not very well known for putting sequels in theaters. They're normally... They'll, they'll put out sequels out the ass, but they'll all be direct-to-video, you know. Nothing with as big of a fanfare as what this is getting. And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the only other sequels I can think of that normally get this treatment are The Rescuers Down Under and uh, Fantasia 2000. Uh, I've seen The Rescuers Down Under, and it definitely uh, deserves the praise that it gets. As far as Fantasia 2000, I'm kind of in the dark on that one. The only issue that I really see myself is the fact that there is product placement out the ass, which is one of the main reasons I wasn't the biggest fan of the Emoji Movie. One of the biggest reasons I didn't really want to see the Emoji Movie had to do with the fact that, you know, this whole entire plot wouldn't have existed if they didn't have this ass ton of product placement. I'm kind of hoping that the product placement doesn't have too much of a bearing on the plot. I'm, I'm kind of hoping it just sticks with Disney and Disney-related things. I mean, we saw, like, Facebook, Snapchat, all that other stuff that they had. Which, I mean, if it's a, you know, it's a movie about the internet, you can come to expect stuff like that. But I'm kind of hoping they keep the plot relegated to mainly just Disney princess stuff and just Disney doing Disney things. I don't, I don't want to see none of that cashing in on big corporate sponsorships. I know that's what people are going to say that, you know, that's what Disney does anyway. But, hey, you know what? I've been a Disney kid for my entire life and I have 100% complete faith in them. I don't feel like they've ever really let me down. I've, I've never really hated a single film they've ever done, but... You know what? It'll be interesting to check this one out. And you know, I think that might be it for uh, today's trailer reaction. Avengers Assemble, may the force be with you, and it's time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. What the fuck?